guys today we have the rough country side steps for the 2015 serato z71 i'll be showing you guys how to install them today i already have one up just wanted to give you guys a look at how they look so you can understand throughout the video what i did uh, we come on down here you're gonna notice each one of these side steps is connected to this right here it has a washer and a big a big uh bolt in there you're gonna use the original ome ones and use the hardware that the kit comes with for this to your side step to mount it together. Like I said, you have three. This is what they're all going to look like. They're attached to this rubber right here. And that's what you're going to use from there to there. Same with the back end over there. Uh, I went ahead and left all three of these connection pieces loose until I tightened them up first to each rubber piece. And then got them set in place of how I really wanted them. And this is the stuff you're going to need right here for the kit. We're gonna put the passenger side on. It has the mount. It's gonna come with a, a a nut, a washer, and a lock washer. Same for the middle, nut, washer, lock washer. The rear, nut, wash, lock washer, washer. Uh, you're gonna connect those all to the attached pieces. That one goes there. This one's gonna go under this silver spot right there. And then you're gonna need a 21, a 20, and a 15 inch uh, socket. And a extension if you have one, I have a little three inch to it perfectly. That's all you're gonna need. Bracket in right here. You're just gonna place it where you want it. It has two levels. I don't want mine to hang that low, so I'm hanging them right here. Uh, you're gonna put it right there. You're gonna put your washer, your lock nut, and then your bolt straight through there. Get it in. and just tighten it down. Like I said, I left these loose, just up too close so they won't move too much. You have a little bit of play in them so you can kind of wiggle them around once you get that top nut up here all the way settled in. Okay guys, here's the middle bracket. Like I said, same before, you got your lock nut, your washer, and your bolt. So let's stick those three together and put it through there. Like I said, I left them kind of loose. It's gonna be a 15 millimeter socket you need. Left them kind of loose so you can kind of have that wiggle play once you put them in and finally get the position you want to keep. Here's the last one, the front one. I already got it all to piece together. Stabbing it in. Just get them on there. Like I said, leave them kind of loose so you have that play. So when you get that final bolt going up there, uh, you can kind of have that place figure out the position you want Here is the truck guys I got the driver's side installed here's the passenger side like I said I put the brackets on already I left them a little bit loose you can have some play in there uh, we're gonna get into the truck right now and show you what bolts you need to connect every one and they're pretty long so if you have a an extension it is handy like I said I only need a little, little extension but longer would have helped bolts I was talking about guys there's one right here one right here and then one down that way. This is what they look like. I said they're pretty long. One, two, and three. And that's where you're going to connect all the connections into. And they look like something like that right there. And like that right there. And we got another one further down that way. We're going to go ahead and put the, the side step in. And you're going to go ahead and put the nut on. You're going to put the, the nut through. And then this on top of the platform of the bracket of the side step. In between there. All right, guys, we got our bracket up. We have this washer behind the bracket, and then we have the nut going in through the washer in the bracket. Stick it on straight up. Start turning it. If you have somebody holding the other end, it helps. And then just tighten it down. Wrong socket. It is a 21, I believe. Yeah, 21. And just get this tightened down now. Like I said a longer extension would help. You'd be able to do it a lot better further away from it. Once I tighten these in, I will go back to right here and tighten that one down. Adjust any adjustments I need. Out 
really nice. Uh, these are the rough country side steps. I picked them up for about 175 at a local dealer here. Uh, I went here because just in case anything was missing, you know, it's easy to replace. I don't feel like ordering online and shipping pretty much came out the same. I like these because they have that middle support bar right there. So when you step in, they don't bend in the middle as most of them do. They're real sturdy, uh, simple install, like I said, and they look really great in the truck.